Good evening YouTubers. Well, the other day I, uh, I found myself in a little bit of a quandary and uh, that was that uh, I was using React OS and I didn't have the benefit of hardware acceleration for graphics layer and uh, I thought to myself hang on a minute I haven't used VirtualBox in years now I know KVM KVM has a special feature um, called uh, and that's KVM Kimu I should be very careful with that um, it has a special feature called pass-through or VGA more specifically um, VGA PCI uh, pass-through and the idea is, is if you have a spare graphics card on your machine uh, then you, and it's not being utilized at all, it hasn't been loaded at boot time, uh, the module that is, you could use it um, for hardware acceleration and thereby effectively get almost, um, you know, uh, on the iron type performance because you're using KVM. Um, and it is a very high performing uh, virtual machine from, in, in my personal opinion, that is, uh, you know, from what I've seen. Others might have benchmarks or things to uh, to prove otherwise, but uh, um, from what I've seen, KVM is, is very uh, well performing. So, um, but I thought to myself, hey, I haven't used I haven't used VirtualBox in a long time. I mean, we're talking years now. I haven't used it. I mean, I've kind of just gone, nah, I'm not using it. A couple of reasons why. One of them was that um, when you used to go to uh, having a look at some other distros by the way so you might sort of get a hint of what I'm actually going to take a look at in future um, so when I used to go to VirtualBox there's something that really used to put me off okay so we'll just go here and um, now the one thing is you used to be able to just get VirtualBox itself which is fine but they had this extension pack business and, and it still is look at this it's it's under the VirtualBox personal use and evaluation license it's one thing that just kind of annoys me the other thing too is that um, there have been negative comments from the kernel team about VirtualBox and that's fine it's probably just some rivalry there but there is something to make out of it and that is that VirtualBox um, is not actually natively integrated into the kernel in fact you have to build uh, using the Linux headers, Linux kernel headers, you actually have to build the um, about four different modules that are required for it, and that takes some time. It's not actually natively built by the distributions; they kind of it, it, it gets built upon install, even though you're using a binary distro such as um, uh, such as uh, what I'm using here, which happens to be Debian, Debian testing, in fact. Um, another thing that's curious about VirtualBox is the other day when I did my React OS video I actually discovered thereafter after I'd done everything and everything was uploaded and that that in fact it wasn't React OS's problem with not being able to run in full screen uh, under i3 it was actually VirtualBox's um, KVM exhibits none of this sort of behavior so fine um, I thought well let's just uh, run it I installed a KDE which is you know kind of my second second favorite uh, environment to use on the desktop. Obviously KDE is a full desktop environment, i3 is just a window manager. But I make use with i3 and it's very easy to meet its dependencies if I'm on a source based distribution like LFS which is not really a distro or if I'm on a real distro um, like Gen 2 or something like that. I shouldn't say LFS is not a real Gen... Uh, sorry, I shouldn't... there's a Freudian slip there. I shouldn't say that LFS isn't a real, a real distro. It's just it's a kind of misnomer to call it a distro. It's really a book. But uh, anyway, that's a story for another time. Um, anyway, so much ado about nothing. I just wanted to show you, um, and I'm not going to have sound, um, well, I presume anyway, I don't think I'm going to have sound uh, making its way back in from the virtual machine, so you won't have the full experience, but you will see what I see. Now, I don't need to see that again. Okay. The interesting thing is, is that we load with this nice mint um, splash okay and uh, things seem to have um, played nicely so far uh, we'll just go like that okay 
Uh, don't know about, about whether this is meant to be filled in. I have an idea that it is. I hope I've remembered my password. Otherwise, I'm in a lot of trouble. It looks like I have. Sometimes I use a different one. Now, I noticed uh, initially when I had installed um, uh, Linux Mint, it, it had detected um, uh, VirtualBox. Okay, I had detected that it's running in a virtual machine, which is nifty. However, it contained a set of um, VirtualBox drivers that were not entirely compatible with this current version of VirtualBox. So I wasn't getting the nice 3D compositing that I'm getting now, and I couldn't in fact run... Look at that, did you see how just quickly that ran up? I couldn't run um, uh, GLX Gears, which I don't use for benchmarking, but it's kind of nice just to know how you're going with uh, 3D. Uh, v like mode equals zero GLX Gears. And, um, and yes, it took a little while to get the... Uh, uh, the window decoration up. Now that's not very good. But it's 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 not very good in the sense that hey I'm not getting the greatest performance out there but I am getting sixty three you know point seven frames per second. It, it's kind of usable. What I found as well is and we'll just uh, close that terminal now. Okay We'll run up for, uh, Firefox, and what I found, and um, what I found was, and we'll just I'll log into mine. Uh, again, you guys are going to try and hack into my account. Good luck. Oh, well, that's bad. One. I don't even. Yep. So just log in. Okay. And uh I will just choose um my channel. I notice that everything is very is performing really, really quickly. This never used to be the case with it. So I'm just gonna um take a, a quick look at one of the videos that I've produced before. Uh, we want to we want to prevent um, we want to prevent those plugins from uh, that or the, the flash plugin from giving me grief. So what we do is we'll just turn that off, and we'll never activate that. Okay, and we'll F5 it again. Just give that a little bit to load. Look at that; it's quite smooth. and that's kind of running pretty nicely. I can run it in 720. That's uh, because of media source extensions, it's not completely compatible um, with... I'll just close that. Um, it's not completely um, compatible with uh, Firefox media source extensions as they are used on YouTube are not entirely compatible with Firefox or vice versa. Firefox isn't entirely compatible with a media source extension. Uh, extensions used um, on uh, YouTube, yeah, we um, we don't get the full 1080p, and nonetheless, uh, the performance is is reasonably good. I think you could actually use this. I mean, that's not too bad. I'll see if what I'll do as well. I'll just pause that now. Can I get out of it? Is the question. Oh, yes, I did. That's great. Um, what I might try and do is install Chromium. But notice how we're just getting that nice desktop, in, 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 you know, interactivity. I don't think I've installed Chrome. No. So we'll install it. Okay, I might need to do the pseudo sudo thing. Just give that a tick. But I noticed that everything under VirtualBox is running really, really smoothly. And um, that makes me think that for some of these sticky distributions that don't sort of want to behave very nicely, 
and I've got the infrastructure outside of it to do the screencast, uh, like, much like what I'm doing now, um, yeah, I might as well just do it in the virtual machine, uh, cause minimal disruption on this uh, computer I'm using, of course. If I know that I can get the tools that I need um, to do my screencast, then I might as well install it to iron and give the best performance possible. But hey, it, it seems to me that this is a uh, good workaround, you know? So we're just going to, yeah, okay, so let's just go uh, app install Chromium. Okay, that's not what I wanted. App to cache, uh, app to cache, search, Chrome. Chromium browser, great. Let's do that. So of course you know you can get the um, a, uh, a free software version of um, of Chrome. Um, it might not have everything enabled in it. I mean, it certainly shouldn't have Flash Player enabled in it or anything like that. I know that Chrome has a um, uh, some long-term support for uh, Flash but um, Chromium shouldn't. I mean, I think I remember this from when I was doing, doing a compile of it, or attempting a compile. Jeez, I found it difficult to compile um, Chromium. I mean, um, I, I've compiled Firefox, I've compiled LibreOffice and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, Chromium was a bit of a treat. I, I feel sorry for the... well, I shouldn't say I feel sorry. I mean, they want to do it, obviously, but the, um, the developer who, uh, you know, for these, you know, like the Linux Mints of the world, or Ubuntu, or Debian's, you know, they've got their, their work cut out for them uh, when they do this. So we'll just give this a tick. Um, you know what, I feel like it might be even worth updating the repo, just to... I might just do that just now. Um, software, sources, yeah, let's see if I can up this. Because it's a little slow for my liking, and it's going to be using a little bit of my bandwidth. I want to do that. So I'll use my service provider and we will use my service provider again. Okay, we'll update the cache. Look at that, that's nice and quick now, isn't it? I just want to get and have a look at the YouTube videos with the 1080 and see how that performs. And then we'll call this a close. But you see here the VBox editions. So once you, um, once you, I think it's devices insert guest edition CD image. If you don't have the image, it's going to prompt you to download it. Again, this is subject to the PUEL, uh, PEUL, I should say. Um, if you don't, you there are distribution packages. Uh, what I should actually point out while I'm in here um, is you can do. Uh, apt cache search virtual box and oh, that's not going to help very much is it uh, do, 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 do. I'm just thinking of yeah so obviously they've got this available to you but, and you'll have to make sure that the repos are, you know, what you want, not restricted repos or anything if you're using, if you're trying to aim for free software. But some of this stuff, you can, can be had. You've got the guest X11 stuff there, which I found on most distros is, is available. So, you can use that. But just remember, there might be version incompatibilities between the uh, uh, virtual box itself and... Um, and uh, what you're trying to run within the guest. So let's just uh, do that now. That should be a little quicker. Let's see what, we're, what, what sort of speed we can pull here. Yeah, it's not too bad. A little better than waiting for five minutes. I don't want to put you through that torture. I'm um, noticing that there's a little bit of inconsistency with the speed here. All those Netflix users out there with my ISP. My, uh, I'm pretty sure my ISP provides um, free quota for Netflix. Oh, I can't remember, I'm not going to say for sure that they do, but I, I think something like that, and I think that this might have been having somewhat of a dampening effect on my speeds. So, I'm just thinking with the 
the speed that VirtualBox is offering. Now, I was mentioning earlier that you can do a uh, pass-through. Now, my uh, my computer doesn't support it. I have a 4770K Intel processor. Now, that K bit, for some reason, means they take they took off. Um, I think it's VT-D is the uh, is the extension that you need for um, pass-through. Or on AMD machines, it will be IOMMU. Um, there's actually an entire thing on the Arch Wiki about um, that. I think we should talk about that sometime in the limitations and being careful about selecting uh, your hardware if you're going to do some virtualization. But getting back to the topic at hand, let's have a look and see how Chromium goes. Well, that was a bit of a glitchy start, wasn't it? So let's go. We can probably. Oh, that's alright. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. And close the terminal, of course. And we will sign in just to make sure that YouTube is aware that I'm clicking on my own video for demonstration purposes. Uh, we will never save the password. Okay, so my channel, let's see how this performs. And we'll choose this bad boy again. And we'll make sure we will not click on the ad, but we'll close it. And let's see if we can get nice HD. Just give that a tick to load up. You can see here, just faintly, and we'll go on full screen mode. Wow, let's allow that. And that's just working an utter treat. So I'm really impressed with how VirtualBox has come along. As I said in a previous video, it's a type 2 virtualization solution. I'm not look I wasn't looking for this much speed when it offered um, the enable 3D settings. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so we'll just get out of this now. Let's sign out and just before we close out I'm just going to show you how I enabled that just again. So you'll notice too it's very very quick to shut down once it runs on a virtual machine. It is running on a solid state drive admittedly but geez very very quick. You can just go on settings here and go to display and you enable 3D acceleration. Don't bother trying to enable 2D acceleration at the same time. It'll say invalid settings detected. I think it only allows... Let's have a look at that. No, it doesn't even want to know about that. So, and I would up the video memory to 128. It starts at 16. Up it to that. I wouldn't change anything else at, at that time. And as I said, again, um, we'll just cancel that. Um, there is also the... Um, once you run it, you'll need to um, you'll need to deinstall um, its existing VBox drive stuff, and you'll need to insert guest edition CD image. It will prompt you. Yes, now, now you see the hole at the bottom is is now filled in with the wallpaper, the login wallpaper, um, and then uh, once that has uh, downloaded, uh, you'll see the Go in here again. Just give this a tick to load. That's great. You'll see this. You'll need to go in there, and you'll need to go into the command line, or you might even be able to run it as. Uh, well, you'll definitely need to run it as root. Um, but uh, VBox Linux editions run. You don't want these other ones unless you're doing a Windows install. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it right here. Um, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, pass it on to your friends, and I'll see you next time with another delightful video, hopefully, on something interesting, maybe about KVM. I think we should do a little bit of advertising about what KVM is about, because while it doesn't have the 3D stuff, it uh, at the moment at least, it's still pretty good. Anyway guys, remember, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Good night.